Hey guys, Rory is here. Welcome back to Control. Uh, <laughs> I quickly stopped the start of the episode. So we're still on the transport over to whatever it is we're going to. I feel like Artie's leading us on this, like, odyssey of a trip. I don't fully understand what's going on here. I feel bad though because Artie... I didn't do a bunch of Artie's missions. Oh! Oh. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I tried to shortcut things. Ah. Oh. Thanker and Tango. That's what that song is called. We've now got it in our, um... Oh my god, I always press the wrong buttons. Heroes Tango. Sun Karin Tango. There's something up ahead. Do you see it? I was gonna say, is, is um... Wait, wait, wait. Plastic tree supplement. This is the tree that was found in the Scott base or whatever. One of the bases in, in Antarctica. The results are incredible, but more so the speed of discovery this allows us. Altered item 14 copies our speech, but after numerous tests we've discovered that certain words are missing from its vocabulary. We began isolating these words, cross-referencing them with esoteric texts from early days of the Bureau. We found that these words, when arranged in particular formations, and spoken at varying speeds and cadences, elicit a reaction from altered materials. We tested the specific string of words, a formula if you will, on other altered items kept in the examination hall. Varying physical responses were recorded with each one, with an 82% success rate. We've proven that words can tangent, tangibly sorry, affect these items. Specific applications must be explored, possibly for containment or identification purposes. This will drastically change our approach for moving forward. And to think, there are still more words to be found. So that tree could be used to find those words. Huh. If I look away, I stop seeing it, but if I look towards it, it slowly takes over my vision. in your song. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Park don't make a wound. You did good. Take my cassette player. You can borrow it. The song is a present from my friends to you. It will get you through the maze so you can do your job. I felt ominous, like it was going to be a boss fight. Did that really just happen? Of course it did. He gave me his cassette player. <laughs> Get me through the maze, huh? <laughs> the janitor always has the keys. But now we have a we have a control point in nowhere. We just got the achievement finish. Oh, containment personnel protection. Bureau alert. Bureau alert's what they're called. Ooh, I got ability points though. Uh, I need health. I keep dying. <laughs> I keep dying and I can't handle it anymore. For having ma like magic being my focus, the fact that I have got no energy <laughs> boosts. <laughs> it's quite surprising, honestly. I bet those missions... I bet those... Uh, those radiant mission things... I bet they give you ability points. <laughs> I bet they allow you to max out your stats. And I've just not been doing them. So I've not been getting any of the points. Ah. Yeah, I'm in an unmapped area. How do I warp to this if it's in an unmapped area? From my brief investigation, it, it looks like no, you don't get ability points from those missions, which means that I have the amount of ability points that they expect me to have at this point. If I just... Oh, Ashtray Maze, perfect. If I just, like, put them in bad places? <laughs> it's like, what the heck? Also, I feel bad. There's a bunch of arty missions I haven't done. And actually, those missions will give me ability points. 
maybe I should do them before doing this, but I want to go with the main missions. You know what? I'll quickly do these arty missions real quick. Which plants are these that I'm talking to? Talk to the plants. Yeah. Small talk was never really my strong suit. At least they can't talk back. Wait, I can hear. Yeah. I hope your day has been productive. Little plant. <laughs> that really works, huh? I'm gonna say I'm gonna follow the the music. There's something I love about Artie's stuff. His stuff is well well handled in this game. They have all sorts of methods to make sure you know what to do, because it you know, Artie's <laughs> he uses like sort of I wanna say natural guidance. Oh, this plant's apparently one. I hope those nasty hiss haven't been bothering you too much. <laughs> Okay. There looks to be about five plants. Also, the mold that was that appeared for that underhill mission's gone, which is nice. I Another wish one. My leaves were as pretty as yours. You just can look for the sad-looking plants. Some of them are some of them are a little hard to see. Do you have a family? I have a brother. I miss him a lot. Have I been in the shelter? I don't remember going in this. No, I didn't think. I didn't think I had. I've been in here so many times. I've never been in the shelter. There's one. They say I'm the director, but what does that mean? I have no experience in leadership roles. I have no on-the-job training. <laughs> I was gonna say. Oh, okay, never mind. I for, for, thought from in there I was gonna like start dying again, and then I had to like say something more positive, and it would crack back up again. <laughs> oh dear. Ooh, once again, for areas of here I just never expert peri utilitarian achievement. Uh, but also plant complaint. Hey, so I was just wondering about the plants and research. Is it really necessary to sing to them? I mean, the janitor does have a nice voice, and the plants sure seem to like it. Maybe you could just switch it up a bit? I'm getting pretty tired of the tango. And where do these plants even come from? No one seems to remember when they were planted. And people like them a bit too much, if you, if you ask me. Are you being invaded by houseplants? Worth looking into, Dr. Lewis. <laughs> he thinks it's some... Like, plot. Oh. Synchronicity. Synchronicity is a phenomena long recognized by the wise, but only recently given a name by science. It is how we rationalize events connected to no identifiable causality, yet clearly conjoined in purpose. How does a dream foretell an event in the physical plane? Why do hounds bail at the death of their master? which has occurred miles away. The world is unified in ways we do not yet understand, and sometimes we stumble across these invisible unseen chords and wonder at the result. The visionary Carl Jung, a Jung? Laid the, ro Jung? Laid the road, now he must walk it. My fledgling research department will make it our mission to reliably reproduce blank behavior by the close of 1959 once done the mechanics of synchronicity or synchronicity will lay themselves bare in due time we are striding into the future of science history may not remember our names but god himself will also we missed one of these foundation you've seen the foundation base of the building tree the house grew there here everywhere we are there everywhere. We have a socket door there. Oh, I saw it. It is a direct link. Oh. Oh. I saw that. Yeah, it looks like, like a tree door thing. Yeah, I know exactly what he mean what they mean by the door. Oh. 
I wonder if that's going to become important in one of the missions, or if we can utilize it somehow. There's the last of it. Oh. Damn it. I was enjoying not having enemies for a while. <laughs> no, fuck you. Gun runs out of ammo way too fast. Okay. That's this gun's biggest weakness is that it's so sl uh, it's so quick to run out of ammo. Really brings out the green in your leaves. I think That's I'm gonna... All of them. Yeah. But I kind of wish there were more. Yay, ability points. They're good listeners. They're good listeners. Um, I am going to switch out this rate of fire. Ammo cost per shot. I'm gonna have that reduced. And she came from headshots. That could be good. I completely change the way spin works try and make it better for me. <laughs> Wait, what's this? This was the one that was on the projector, but it was broken. I've been fielding questions recently regarding HRAs. What are they for? Do you always need to wear them? And what's the deal with the Hadron Resonance anyway? I... Fuck. Despite what you may have heard, HRAs are not monitoring devices. We're not tracking your movements or listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. We do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. Think of them as a, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is... Um, classified. <laughs> classified. <laughs> One day that classified, not water, might pour in and... You'll be glad you got, a, got an HRA keeping you afloat. <laughs> and if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be... Uh, Quick and painless. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> We're making more. Hmm. So no, it'll be slow and painful. Your death will be slow and painful. If you don't wear your damn HRA. So yeah, this is where the dimensional research is. Way up here. Um. The, the teleport point where you teleport into central research is up there. Anyway, um, <laughs> it's, we've got some more arty missions that I want to do. Alrighty, I'm back. I, <laughs> I forgot to, well, I didn't say I was going, I guess. So that's a bit weird. But, uh, what I meant to say is I have been, I've gone and had my dinner, come back, I want to finish this today. But I might run out of time. Time. Time, Dr. Freeman? Is it really that time again? The mold's gotten in here too? All right. Let's get cleaning, she said, cocking her gun. <laughs> it's you. Huh. Yeah, I wonder if this area, these areas will actually be rid of the mold once I'm done.
I thought I could hear it in here. Yeah, I wonder I wanna know if these areas like if the mold completely disappears. Because this area's been moldy ever since I first arrived. I hear that. Oh, this is outside of the mole area. Yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? Three ability points. Okay, that's that one. Oh. Yeah, yeah, shh. <laughs> Through this way. Mold's gotten in here too? Yeah. Alright. Let's get cleaning, she said, cocking her gun. <laughs> oh, actually, this isn't the. Interesting. Was that active when I was doing the mission before? Because I claimed those missions. Yeah, I think that I think that voice line happened during the mission where I was following Artie's like uh, message things. Yeah, I think it, it, it just interestingly overlapped, and I didn't notice it at the time because it was the first time I was seeing it. Anyway, there. Oh. Damn, I should have just left it where it was. I remember being able to see it. I remember seeing that hole in the wall. I remember seeing this hole in the wall when we had like a mission where we came down here. Seeing this mold up here on the wall. <laughs> That's funny. Was that there? There we go. Yay. Okay, now where's this clog? Let's just check. Yeah, I think it's down this way. Yeah, in here. Here's <laughs> his music once again. Hello That's again, awesome. Mr. Clog. You really let us Oh. <laughs> it's water cooler procedures. Oh, the water cooler, yeah. If the item's form is different from any other previously reported, then make a note describing the new form. The object's true shape and appearance are unknown. It's been known to take the form of the following objects. Ring of keys, lunchbox, wrench, microscope, stapler, glasses, mail tube, spoon. The item is able to adopt the physical form of items in its immediate vicinity. The item is capable of limited physical movement, repositioning itself whenever it changes form. This only occurs when it is unobserved, physically and digitally. Because of this, the transition between shapes has never been observed. Reciting formula that or that causes the item to reveal itself by shuddering. This sounds like a reference to Prey's uh, mimics, where they can like become a cup. <laughs> the item was initially discovered within the bureau itself, with an agent brought it inside, intentionally or otherwise, or it resided here prior to the bureau's arrival to the oldest house is unknown. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, it just reminds me of a mimic. Okay, I'm gonna need power.
That's supposed to be a puzzle. But it's super easy for me because I can just fly. <laughs> oh. Nope. Go to the lower level and push the, back the clock. <laughs> yeah, that's Artie's ritual is that song. He sings and things like that as his rituals to achieve his goals. Hope we never meet again. Yay! <laughs> I can't believe that Clog was part of the story mission. It's it's understandable being like a side mission like this one. Oopsies, uh right click. These are not sources of light, unfortunately. Right. Oh, <laughs> they're supposed to be sources of light, but they're... They're, um... They're not. I have dessert. I have some chocolate chip cookies. I also have a hot chocolate. Alright. Well, supposedly, Artie's music... I hope this isn't copyright claim music. You'd think a song like this would be, uh, would be made for the game. But I honestly have no idea. Yeah, I'm taking control, don't worry. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm afraid it's not going to be okay. Oh. Oh, I still have the other guys in the other room. Yeah, this is definitely copyrighted music. Ah, oh, it sucks. It's really cool. I'll try and find some cool, like, banging music to put in instead. Yeah, the idea is that you're listening to Artie's radio. Oh. This is cool, I like this. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I really like this, this is really cool. <laughs> Imagine, holy shit. Oh, I see. Oh, no. Where? Oh, it's an elevator. <laughs> oh. Give me your... Give me your mind. Oh. <laughs> yeah, where was I? <laughs> Back to the music. It's just cool, like, hard rock. I haven't listened to music like this in a while. Reminds me of, um, Black Sabbath. Yeah, so maybe, maybe, at a stretch, it could be called metal. 
no, no. Let me hit. Let me grab you. Nope. Not gonna let me. <laughs> Isn't it interesting how, for me at least, right now, this combat sequence with like a whole bunch of like mobs, a whole bunch of just general enemies, it feels way more satisfying than um than those boss fights I was doing with those like crazy entities. You'd think that like unique fights would be the ones that are like super fun. But actually, this game has a way of making those, like, the regular enemies, especially the ones with the, those, like, when they're, the big boys with their grenade launchers, like, they're actually fun to fight. Like, I think because of the fact that they're slow, you know, they, they take a bit to get the grenades, you know, the grenades don't explode immediately. Um, it makes for, like, good combat. Good, like, moment-to-moment -moment combat. I'm not immediately dead or alive, you know? Oh. These guys are the ones I actually don't like as much. <laughs> Digging through a wall. Duh. <laughs> yeah, I like the idea of... Like, enemies showing up and then they're being removed because that's not the right way through the maze. That's cool. This space is really cool. Yeah, I describe this as like hard rock. But it's like it's somewhere between that and metal. There's like a crossover. <laughs> You're mine. Alright, we're back. I think that's it. You can take the uh headphones off now, Jesse. <laughs> there we go. She takes them off. Back to the fire break. That was awesome. <laughs> Expedition into Slidescape 36. What Darling brought back changed everything. Hmm. What Darling brought back, he said. Oh. Ashtray and cigarette. The object is a steel ashtray with a maze engraved in its bottom. Ah. An ever burning cigarette rests in it. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to create a maze of shifting corridors without adjusting the dimensions of the space around it. This maze forms wherever the object is placed. Only the binder can navigate the maze, though they may allow others through. The object is currently bound to direct a trench. Huh. It actually tells you. Although the fact that Artie had the music that would help. Either Artie is like Polaris in that he knows how to or like us, I guess, because of Polaris, how to like manipulate objects of power or altered items to his will. Like we can go into an altered item and, and render it uh, sort of null. Artie can, he gives you his, his thing, his ritual, which allows him passage through, even though he's not actually expressly allowed through the maze. That's almost like what it comes across like. <laughs> Uh, or he's bound it to himself, or since he's since Trench has died. The object was discovered at blank by a team of rangers sent to carefully sent to a care facility for the elderly that had become the center of a numerous missing persons report. Local authorities also disappeared inside after reporting to responding to reports. Agent Blank discovered the object in a blank, which indicates it was the source of the disappearances. The whereabouts of the missing persons are still unknown, though they are presumed to be lost in the maze. 
Yikes. The old gods of Asgard take control. That's the song that was playing. So we've got Slidescape 36. We used the slide projector. I led the expeditions into Slidescape 36. They told me not to go. The director should not put himself in danger. I told them to fuck off. I've seen action before and I had to witness this myself. To find some meaning in all of this. I couldn't sit on my ass. Alone with my thoughts, my memories. Anything but that. Those who survived were deeply affected by what we found there. By what Darling brought back. It changed everything. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing remains to be seen. But I did find my meaning in that desert. A sound, like a needle drilling in, cutting through the containment suit reverberating on the base of my skull. My whole the being. Darling said it was nothing. But he was wrong. Mm. It's been there ever since, growing into a certainty, into an understanding of what's at stake here, what kind of a threat we're facing, and what must be done to stop it. Hmm. I do wonder still, though, whether whatever was causing the hiss it was like bound to oh dimensional research maybe in an effort to try and control it like maybe an object of power is causing the hiss or some sort of altered item but object of power would make more sense because then maybe to try and control the hiss they got Dylan to buy they got they bound it to Dylan forcefully as a way to then and then if they contain Dylan you know then it the hiss is contained but it doesn't work like that. I don't know. Yeah, you want me here. Finding the projector was how this all began. What started in ordinary ends here. You, me, Dylan. We've all come full circle. These are all sound test things. Sound test, sound test. Sound tests. Different speakers. Oh. Full of like sand or something. Hmm. This looks like a control point. It is. Well then. I have ten points to spend. I want to get this, just because it's functionally something new. I get my health boosts. Actually, no, that one, that last one's pretty shit. Let's get an energy boost for the first time since the start of the game. Oh dear. All right, what do we, what can we make astral construct wise? I can upgrade grip or shatter. I'll hold off. So, launch, kill his troopers, and then snipers with Pierce. If I see any of them, I'll try and remember that. The sand. This must be from the desert that they were talking about. Is that why the hiss is always shown us? Here, to where Dylan and I went, where the projector took us, where we met you. Bureau opened the same door here, but there's just an echo now. This. You're close. Just on the other side. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's for the elevator. So wait. What is what is happening? So this is the desert? 
Oh, it's gone. When I run away, it, it manifests. There it is. Why does that happen? I'm guessing I can't actually go there. I think that's why she said it's just an echo. Yeah, I need to find my way up. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, that's how that works. Well, it uses all my energy though. So it works the same way as those elevated who, like, sl like charge you. Yeah, like that. Huh. Alright, let's get this projector. If it's here. As we've, as has been the pattern recently, most of the time, oh, it's not there. Of course it's not. It's never where we want it to be. Although, that looks like a control point. Projector's not here. Moved again. Yeah. What did Darling do with it? I've got to find out. This looks like a control point. Touch the area for the slide projector. Okay, still, still searching the area. Oh. There's a presentation going on. Dylan's sister burned the rest in ordinary before we could intercept. The text on it, color slide film, this side towards screen, and the number 36. The topography of slidescape 36 bears deep wave marks. On the slide and in the distance, there's a formation of five pillars like crude, outstretched fingers. There were casualties on our first expedition. Communication is an issue. There is no sound there, as if you've gone deaf. And radios don't work. Correction, a resonance from an unknown source in part within the range of audible frequency. It acts in unpredictable ways, causing feedback loops that can tear you apart. Trench insists he heard something else. It made his ears bleed. Our equipment found no evidence of anything beyond the primary resonance. Trench's medical tests showed nothing amiss. Wait a second, wait a second. Here we go. Don't I miss anything. The projected image from each slide is a, a physical portal into another dimension. Only one slide remains. And Dylan's sister burned the rest in ordinary before we could intercept. So what we saw on the screen was basically all of it. We didn't miss much. Has any, this is a janitor complaint. Has anyone else seen that janitor mopping up around here? Isn't this is a restricted area, access area? Who gave him permission to come in here? And how the fuck did he get through the maze? See, I didn't think he had permission. I didn't believe he had permission to go through the maze, but he has a device that allows him to do it. I, th I love Artie, he's so cool. <laughs> he's like the G-man of this game where he's like... The image from each slide is a, a physical portal oh. to another dimension. Only one it's replaying. Dylan's sister burned the rest in ordinary before... We it's replaying without the visual though. The text on it, color slide film. Hedron Residence Lab. Another possibility is that Polaris, a piece of Polaris, or something that makes Polaris, is like, is like in, inserted into the HRAs. Hedron Containment and Siphoning Practices Hedron and the Hedron Resonance are arguably the greatest assets this bureau has ever possessed. The security of Hedron is unspeakably vital, which is why we have blank from the majority of bureau employees. Majority, I just, I just, Sometimes I say words like I'm drunk or something. Because I'm just not expecting the word. My brain expects it to be a different word there. This report details the containment procedures required for the Hedron Containment Chamber, including details on the blank being pumped into the containment cell, mechanical upkeep of the resonance siphons, and the arrangement of the acoustic pillars to dampen or amplify the sonic range of the chamber. For more information on the proper operational procedures of the resonance siphons 
An additional report is coming soon. Hmm. This lab looks strangely undisturbed. Okay. Right? Oh. There we go. Expedition 3. We located the source of the resonance in Slidescape 36. It is an entity, a living organism of a considerable mass. I I've named it Hedron based on its physical shape. Hedron? We, 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 we built a Was that for it. you? Did he mm. bring you here? Is that why you brought me here? Uh... I just was You're saying. Here. An element of Polaris. They have you. Mm. I know you. I remember her from nice. ordinary. I thought I'd never see you again. Somehow it's hey, able to reach us I'm though. Coming. It's not the end. But after this I won't I won't. I exposed myself to Hedron Resonance fully. It is Changing me. I've, I've seen. Wait, 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 wait. We, uh. I don't know. Let's do Hedron first. This is the one that was on the screen that we didn't get to see all of. Yes. Expedition 3. We located the source of the resonance in Slidescape 36. It is an entity. A living organism of a considerable mass. I, I've named it Hedron based on its physical shape, the part that we can perceive. Not that we can I perceive think it. There's the resonance it emits, the frequencies. We've we've never seen anything like it. We 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 built a container for it and, and we brought it in. This changes everything. It is beyond our understanding. We have brought so many questions with us through that hole in the wall. I will dedicate. <laughs> I'm never going home. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here, final message. I'm Dr. Casper Darling, and this, this is my final message. It's not the end. But after this, I won't, I won't. I exposed myself to Hedron Resonance fully. It, it is, it's changing me. I've, I've seen you. Show them so much. Slidescape 36 was where Hedron stopped the spread of another. Oh, it's terrifying. Right. It really is. It's another source of resonance. Trench was exposed to this other. It will now spread. I've done everything I can to stop the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I, I don't know if it'll make a difference. I, I, I won't be here when it happens. I, I should have told him any more. I, 
I'm being said one more lesson. Something wonderful, I think. Hmm? Okay. So, what I don't understand... I project tests. They figure out that the that Hedron Polaris was stopping another form of resonance in the in Slidescape 36. Why don't they just immediately return Polaris to the other to the Slidescape 36? Also, how come we have Polaris in our head? But none, no one else that's come in contact with Polaris has. Now, do we have we bound Polaris to ourselves, and so therefore no one else can have it in their head? But it, Jesse and Dylan both had Polaris in our head, so a slide projector only works with slide thirty-six. Logically, this means the slide itself is part of the object of power, or a distinct altered item. But of course, I had to make sure no other slides worked. I had to try. I thought maybe emotion had something to do with it. Connection, history, love. I brought in my parents' old slides. Birthday parties, vacations to Niagara Falls, first day of high school, that kind of thing. There were two boxes worth. I had to dig around the garage for an hour to find them. Never once thought of looking at them since they passed. I tried them all. I waited until all staff left for the night. I stayed up in that booth for hours trying every one. Projector off, slide out, slide in, projector on, nothing happens. Projector off, slide out, slide in, projector on, nothing happens. Love wasn't the common factor. There's no correlation that I can see. Maybe the slide itself is the object of power. Maybe the projector's just a, just an accessory. Maybe it doesn't matter. Why'd that fucking kid have to burn the other slides? <laughs> Was that, um... Darling being mad at me? A fucking kid. <laughs> This is one giant HRA. Coming through so strong. Darling, use this HRA to lock the door. I have to rip it off to get in. Are you right. sure? Okay, I'll be there. Hang on. It's a giant HRA. Hydron Resonance Amplifier. An amplifier of this, of Polaris's I, resonance. I made it. What's happening? I was gonna say, why wasn't it exploding? Um, cleanse the siphons. Come on, come on, come on. Damn it. So if I get folksies. If I get hit, it interrupts it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So that's... So what's happening, the, what I'm seeing is that it's, it's the Hiss trying to invade this and try, trying to invade Hedron's containment. Ouch. Oh. Okay, you protect- 
protect me while I'm doing this. Your turn. Protect me. With the power of Polaris, we're correcting this. <laughs> Go to hell! Fuck off! <laughs> she was saying every time. Oh my god, there's more. What the heck? Okay, that's not cool. Oh, there's a fucking healing dude. What was hurting me? What was hurting me? There was nothing there. <laughs> no. Not okay. If it makes me do the first three again, I'm gonna be mad. Make me just drop me off where I was up to, please. I just hate it when that, that, that right there is an example of where I feel frustrated. Did it just crash? It's not doing the circle. I think I'm gonna have to leave that there. That episode's gonna have to stay there. If you like what you saw, hit like. If you wanna see more from me, then subscribe. We'll be right back. And we'll save Polaris from the hiss. Well, we'll save the containment unit from the hiss. I don't fully understand <laughs> what's happening in this scene. But we shall return and figure out what the hell is going on in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.